I'm out here today with the Element Enduro with the TGH Titan chassis, and we just installed these brass options from STRC and SSD. So what I'm wondering is how does it crawl now? The only thing that I noticed that I really didn't like was that now we have a little bit of toe out on our wheels that was not there before I installed these parts. I tried to slam everything in as much as I could and I didn't get any regular, you know, straight toe. Or right, now we've got toe out, I guess. Yeah, you can, yeah. yeah, I'm sure it'll crawl fine, but wasn't too happy about that. Y'all already know the top speed of this rig, so I'm just gonna get to it. What I was looking for was more forward weight bias and a little bit more weight to hook. And I can already tell you right there, I could not hook with the stock weight and weight bias on this rock. Just couldn't do it. I can't do it with a stock one. I couldn't do with this one after the fact, but I can tell you right now, there's now enough weight to hook on this rock with this tire and what it used to do is it would it would try to hook and it would just slide and slide and slide and it would just keep sliding and push me right off and now it doesn't so first part of this test flying colors awesome so we can already tell that this is more capable We'll see if this just pulls it right up. I'm assuming it would because it was able to pull up with minimal wheel spin before I added the weight. And now that we have much more weight bias, it has no problems at all. Now, my concern going downhill. Now that I have more forward weight bias, as soon as this passenger side front drops into this hole, it's going to try to pull the entire rig with it. So I'm, I'm gonna have to ride my four links all the way down if possible or, or go off to this side, but I, yeah. <laughs> okay, it didn't, it didn't tip over. Uh, that, that may have just been lucky driving. Ooh, I know a good one. I know what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna line back up. We're gonna come over to this side. So this has always been a problem right here. If I get my rear into this hole that it is in now, it would not pull up. It just sit here and, and grind and grind and grind and it would never pull itself up. And look at that, a little bit more forward weight bias. And this is, this is why testing and tuning and testing and tuning is fun for me. Now let's see if I can get get over here without it falling yeah there we go pulling lines that i could never do before and this is what we had to do back in the old days before there were tons of option parts we essentially had to add lead weight to our wheels instead of knuckle weights uh, and then once aftermarket manufacturers started doing tungsten knuckle weights and stuff like that it became a different game you could just buy it but back in the day it was all about siping your tires and tuning your foams and you know finding that just right amount of weight to wrap inside your tires lead weight because that was what was available to us that was the style at the time As you can see, we've got a little bit of new dirt out on the course today. I'll be doing some future modifications. As long as the freezing weather doesn't come up on us too fast, it's kind of hard to change frozen dirt around, but we'll see. Oh yeah, pulled right up it. 
So the weights without tire modifications helped a lot. Now, of course, these are modified from the stock, but as compared to what they were before I added the weight and after I added the weight, the weight did help. And I'm not sure if it is just the weight as much as it is the forward bias, probably a combination of both. Yeah, I'm just gonna dig myself a hole here. And of course, these are, these are just cut stock tires. These are not some fancy, yeah. Yeah, I would not have been able to do that otherwise. <laughs> rip wrap. Some of these sections definitely need to be cleaned up. Get the rip wrap out and put the big rocks back in. Oh, is it gonna is it gonna hook? We need that we need that front tire to pull. I don't think it's gonna quite do it. Let me look and see what I'm doing. Oh, so close. We'll have to keep that front tire high. Like so. Now it should pull us up. We'll see. Oh nope. All right, one more time. We'll have to keep both front tires high. There we go. Perfect. Boop. Oh, I think I'm hitting battery cut off. Yep, sure did. I, I drained that pack. I didn't, I didn't charge it uh, here recently. Well, I guess that's the end of our video. I'll need to charge my battery up, but success. Add a little bit of knuckle weight on this with the combination of the cut tires, the chassis having metal rims on the front and plastic on the back, really good forward weight bias. It did really well, so I'm happy about that. All right, I guess it's time to work on our course a little bit. So if you've got any questions about this rig or the meaning of life, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to get to them. As always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.